What's going on everyone? Tommy from Pizarro's Pieces and we're back today with a top five. And today we're gonna to be doing my top five retro game. Welcome back everyone. So, if you had the luxury of being born in the early 80s like myself, come the late 80s and early 90s there was an abundance of great consoles. So, Sega had the Master System, Nintendo had the NES Home System, then Nintendo had the Super NES, Sega had the Mega Drive or the Genesis as it was known in America. I was quite lucky, I was quite fortunate having an older brother um, I can remember the first console we had was the Master System and it had the built-in Safari Hunt, I think, like the shoot them, shoot them game. You can shoot the animals and all that. Um, I then remember, I think my brother, I had an NES and then I think my brother ended up having both and Super Nintendo and Mega Drive. So the abundance of games there were for both cons all four consoles across the board. Um, was just immense there was just game after game after game there was games coming out on a weekly basis so today I could have done a top 10 or top 20 but as mentioned in my previous video on my top 5 80s films it's easy to just do a top 5 it's hard but I've squeezed it down so I'm going to start with number 5 and that is Street Fighter now I wasn't too good at this as a kid um, Street Fighter so my brother had this on the SNES and we had this, this version as well on the Mega Drive. Um, the thing that caught me with Street Fighter was, I mean Street Fighter end up, has ended up being um, a platform for fighting games, you know, you end up getting after this Mortal Kombat, you know, Killer Instinct, Tekken and Marvel vs Capcom as well. Um, I, like I said I wasn't very good at it but I used to love the music and the graphics, I just thought the graphics were good and the fact that there was multiple players to choose from. Um, I play it now, I'm still not too great, I'm okay, don't get me wrong, but it had to be included in the top 5 for more for nostalgic reasons than the fact that the gameplay and that I was very good at it. I think I clocked it a couple of times, I can't remember, probably with Ryu, the, the most common character. Um, but yeah, Street Fighter is my number 5 and it's probably in a lot of people's top 10 at least in regards to retro gaming. Street Fighter number five or Street Fighter 2 shall I say number five number four is Double Dragon now I've got the NES version here of Double Dragon but in fact the one that I want as my number four is the version on the Master System so the version on the NES was only one player for some reason and the Master System version you could do co-op so you and a friend could play with each, along with each other and then the great thing I used to love about it is at the end you used to have to fight each other to win the girl so I clocked Double Dragon numerous times with an old friend I used to stay over at his house and we used to just play it all the time I knew it like the back of my hand and I've got good memories of it so double, that's why I've got Double Dragon as number four great game, great music as well Double Dragon, number four number three I haven't actually got a copy of because these days it goes for quite a lot of money. It's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Hyperstone Heist. So I did have this on the Mega Drive and it was based on the arcade game. I think the SNES had a very similar version which was Turtles in Time I think it was. Um, I never actually had that or played it but I did have the Mega Drive version um, and I loved it. At the time it was colourful, the graphics were great, Teenage Turtles was sort of in its prime. I was into Turtles then, I think it was 94 it might have come out, 93, 94 and it was great and I can remember Turtles being in the arcade as well, it was not a too dissimilar version but a lot of the great games that came out on the consoles had come from arcade games, um, Turtles was one of them, Street Fighter was obviously one of them as well, um, I'm not entirely sure, Double Dragon might have even been as well, so Teenage Turtles is my number three. I don't own a copy of it, like I said, it's quite expensive to get these days. Um, but yeah, that's my number three. My number two 
is Streets of Rage 2. Um, so obviously there was Streets of Rage 1, Streets of Rage 2 and 3 and however many more beyond that. It might have only just been the 3 but number 2 is my favourite. For gameplay, I think it was a lot better than number 1. Um, I love the music as well. All the great games, all was backed up by great music as well. Um, again, another platform game, similar to Turtles, two-player, you can choose from four characters, you know, fighting, going along the streets and fighting crime and all that. Everyone knows it's one of the great uh, games that came out on the Mega Drive. Um, so yeah, Streets of Rage 2 is my number two. So before, before I announce the number one, I have to give a few honourable mentions. Now obviously Sonic and Mario were big games when I was a kid and I loved them. I love I loved Super Mario 3 and you know I loved Sonic when it first came out. Um, but they're quite, I say generic, but they don't really make my top five. They would probably make a top 10 or certainly a top 20. Um, but there are other mentions as well. Altered Beast was a great game that I loved as a kid. Um, I remember having it on the arcade, an arcade machine when um, we lived in a pub when I was younger so my mum and dad used to run a pub and that was in the late 80s and we had Altered Beast there so I loved that. Um, another one I need to mention is the Disney games I think were great on the Mega Drive so there were so many of them you had um, Castle of Illusion, you know Quackshot, you know Jungle Book, Aladdin, Tailspin. Some of them games were great. Chip and Dale on the NES was Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers on the NES was another great game that I remember having. I can remember the music and that and playing it as a kid. Um, uh, Tecmo Wrestling on the NES. Uh, Rampage was another game. You know, the, the list could be endless. Like I said, with the 80s films, it was the same. I had to try and squeeze it into five. So I just thought I'd give a few mentions there. But I'd love to know what your favourite Mega Drive game was or your favourite SNES game. What was your favourite console? You know, put it in the comments below. Let me know. Remember, these are my personal five. Everyone's will be different. So, so my number one is Maximum Carnage. So this was the Spider-Man game, Maximum Carnage, based on the comic that was out about a year before. Um, basically debuting Carnage, the character. Um, on this game, you could you was Spider-Man and Venom. Now, I was big on Marvel then, in the early 90s. It, and Marvel wasn't as huge as what it is now. So I loved it, and I, I was you know fascinated with Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man and Venom. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this game is it was only one player, so you would switch between Spider-Man and Venom. But it, the graphics were great. It was very much like what, reading, a, watching a comic on TV, um, and you could get help from you know characters like Captain America, Black Cat, Iron Fist. There was a few Marvel characters that you'd be able to get come and help you. Um, I actually this is the Genesis version that I bought recently because I can play Amer my console here can play American games. Um, I did actually have the red cartridge on Mega Drive. I remember having it. This is one of the later games on the Mega Drive. This came out in like 94. And I think Mega Drive games kind of were sort of finishing. And, you know, Sega were moving on to the next, their next big thing, which I can't remember, might have been the Saturn, um, which didn't do to particularly great. So this was sort of like a late game in regards to the Mega Drive. Um, but I loved it. I loved, pla I loved platform games, um, like co-op and all that. I wasn't too big on fighting games and stuff like that. I used to love just doing, you know, five, six, seven, eight levels, whatever it was. And as you can see from my top five games, um, four of them are platform games, apart from Street Fighter. Um, they're not too dissimilar in, in, in gameplay. And they're the ones I've got fond memories of and the ones that are clocked. So they sort of stick in your mind, to be honest with you. The games that you struggled with, and there were some seriously hard games on um, the Mega Drive. I remember Jurassic Park was really hard used to frustrate me so much some of them games predator was another game that was really hard they're not going to be in my top five um, they're the sort of game that when i played it you know you'd play one level and you'd be biting the control pad and throwing it and nah they're not going to be in my top five i might do a top five worst games and they might make that but maximum carnage is my top game 
So I'd love to know what your guys' top uh, games are. Let me know in the comments below. Was it a Mega Drive game? Was it a SNES game? Was, was it a, before that? You know, I was a bit too young for the Commodores, the Amigas and the Ataris. Um, so my memories are of the Master System as my first computer, which I was probably only about five uh, when we got that. So let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, Pizarro's Pieces. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to watch the other videos. Until next time, people, see you then.